Both of these dogs are smart, loyal and capable of a friendly feat. What is interesting? The breeds were cultivated in completely different conditions, and the breeders pursued radically opposite goals. And the appearance of both dogs turned out to be so recognizable and specific. The conditions of occurrence left their mark on the temperament and made the dogs peculiar. If the Moscow watchdog is a great security guard, then the Saint Bernard is an equally noble search engine. Without much difficulty he will find a person in a snow-covered valley, but he will not be able to become a watchman. You should not even try to raise a guard out of him. But his friend is wonderful. Obedience and the desire to be useful mean a lot to a dog. Known in cases when breeds coexisted peacefully together. The Moscow Watchdog, by its example, tried to teach how it is worth protecting the territory entrusted by the owner. Saint Bernard did not move his ear. The Saint Bernards do not seem to know how to be nervous by default. The maximum is to raise your head when a new object appears in the field of view. But who is he, what he is and they are not particularly interested. Guard dogs, on the other hand, are aggressive towards any stranger who encroaches on the territory entrusted to them. Although the dog understands that he can disorient anyone with loud barking, he will prefer a more weighty position. Fortunately, the dimensions allow you to emerge victorious from many confrontations. For a monastery dog, communication is incredibly important, and not necessarily with a person. But the owner, of course, wants to see as often as possible. He needs a living creature nearby, therefore, to keep such a good man in limited conditions is absolutely impossible and not at all. But Moscow watchdogs feel great in cozy enclosures. The only convention. They need to knead the bones, so walking around the perimeter or beyond is simply a must. Saint Bernard is a teddy bear that can be placed in a certain place, and returned an hour later, found in the same position. No obstinacy and willfulness. These kind people are obedient and fully trust the opinion of their master. And now a self-sufficient MS enters the arena, in the genes of which there is a part of the Caucasian blood. This dog will not allow himself to be manipulated. Therefore, we should expect that the Moscow watchdog may well buck up, which will not seem enough. This breed needs a confident and strong-willed owner. But as far as activity is concerned, both breeds are very lazy in this regard. But Moscow watchdogs are very successful at the right time, while the monastery dogs will not even move their ears in order to get up. If the former can walk around the district, looking into every gap, and they do not need the call of the owner for this, then the latter will rise only at the confident loud call. On the other hand, why waste energy in vain, it is better to stock up on it for a plausible cause. It is also worth touching on the topic of health, for example, the Moscow watchdog often suffers from stomach ailments. The diet must be monitored and, if necessary, adjusted. Behind the tight undercoat, the carcass is simply not visible. Saint Bernard's, on the other hand, must be protected from excessive overheating. In the conditions of the Arctic cold, they will be comfortable, and in the heat, they can get sunstroke and begin to suffer from dehydration. An important guideline when choosing should be functionality and working qualities, but character plays an important role, and this must be remembered. Well, it's hard to say which of the bottom is better, it all depends on the purpose for which you get a dog. I can only say for sure that if you need a security guard, then the Moscow watchdog is definitely better to handle this.